Welcome to the Holistic Health Bites podcast. I'm your host, Andrea Nicholson, here with bite-sized episodes to empower, educate, and enlighten you with ways to lose weight, heal your gut, and achieve your ideal health so you can live an adventure-filled life. Let's dive in. Welcome back to the Holistic Health Bites podcast. We're continuing the discussion today about stress and all of the ways that it impacts your body and your health. Today, I wanted to specifically talk about rest. Sleep is a part of rest for sure, or at least it should be. But this discussion is really more about rest when you're not sleeping. Sleep really shouldn't be the only rest you're getting. When most of us think about relaxation and rest, we think about vegging out on the couch, lazily watching TV, a movie, or just mindlessly scrolling social media. But this isn't actually as rejuvenating as you might think. Sure, it's not physical or extraordinarily mentally taxing, but you are still being bombarded with stress. You're on alert and you're being stimulated still getting dopamine hits and cortisol spikes. You're seeing fast moving images, artificial blue light, noise and compound sounds, violence and suspenseful scenes, drama, exceedingly negative stories, and an overload of divorce, cheating, lying, stealing, criminal behavior, drug and alcohol abuse. All of these toxic images thoughts, and behaviors that you likely wouldn't put up with in your own life. But we constantly watch these things on TV and movies. And we tell ourselves that it's totally okay because we know it's fake. But our brains really can't distinguish real from imagined or witnessed. Remember, stress can be real or perceived. So you may be thinking, Okay, so I'll watch more comedies and rom-coms. Not so much negativity and drama. Now, I would agree that that's better, but you're still getting bombarded with stimulation from blue light, noise, and fast-moving images. All of these things, whether we're consciously aware of it or not, are increasing our cortisol levels and putting us into a fight-or-flight state. But if your adrenals are already taxed or your cortisol is already elevated, this is definitely not helping you rest. This isn't real rest. It's just another form of stress. Now, I'm not saying that you have to get off the couch and go for a run. Although this is one stress management habit, it's not great for resting. But there are some things that you can do to make your downtime more restful. First, get out into nature. This is my favorite go-to hack to really rest. But now you don't want to take your AirPods, your cell phone, your laptop, or even a camera. Just be. Watch the leaves blow in the wind. Pay attention to the birds. Lay and look at the clouds. Look off into the distance for a while. Second is you can read a book. Now, make sure it's not a suspenseful book, though. There's nothing wrong with a great mystery book, but they're not the best for helping you rest and relax. So if you find yourself sweaty and tense and sitting up straighter while you're reading, you're not relaxing. Also, make sure it's a real paper book or you're still getting the blue light stimulation. Third option is take a bath. Warm water is one of the best ways to unwind. Try just sitting in silence in the water without music, a podcast, or TV playing in the background. This also works in a hot tub or even a hot shower. Fourth option is do some stretching or some light yoga. This can not only help to reduce tension in your muscles, tendons, and ligaments, but it can also help move your lymphatic system and improve detoxification. Remember, toxins are stressors, so the more we can move those toxins out, the better. Fifth option is meditation or practicing deep breathing. Now, this may seem obvious as a good way to relax, but most of us aren't actually doing these simple practices. 
You don't have to sit like a monk or chant various phrases. Just take a series of deep breaths, trying to clear and calm your mind, even for just a couple of minutes. And lastly, I would highly recommend journaling. Now, this does not have to be Dear Diary style writing. It can be just a random brain dump of the thoughts in your head, a challenge that you're going through, a to-do list that's rattling around in your head, how you're feeling, what you're afraid of, and what you're looking forward to. Something magical happens when you put pen to paper. Doing things like this will help lower your cortisol levels if they're high and can even help rebalance them if they're too low. Ultimately, this will allow your body to truly rest so that it can heal. And when your body is rested and healed, you will feel better. You'll have more energy, you'll be more productive, and you'll likely be in a better mood. So next time you're looking to relax, make sure you're doing things that will actually help you rest. Don't wait until you're totally burned out or wiped out before you get rest. Build it into your daily routine. So now I'll ask you again, has your downtime been truly restful? If not, listen to this episode again and incorporate at least one of these techniques that I shared today. Do you have any other questions about stress, stress management, stress reduction, or how stress is affecting your health? Email me. I'm going to be recording an episode all answering your questions. So email me at andrea at healthylifewithandrea.com and I'll be sure to drop that email address in the show notes as well. Hit me up with all of your questions so that I can make sure I address them in that final episode. Be sure to subscribe so that you won't miss an episode. Next week, we're going to be talking all about being addicted to stress. I so appreciate you being here. If you find this information helpful, please leave the show a five-star review so that other people will be more likely to find it. Until the next episode, be well and vibrant. Thanks for being a faithful listener to the podcast. I'd love it if you left me a five-star review on this podcast so that others can more easily find this valuable information. Did you know I also work one-on-one -on -one with clients? I approach solving health challenges like I approached solving crimes by conducting a thorough investigation into your case. Whether you're looking to lose weight, boost your energy, fix your digestive system, or reduce inflammation, I can help. All you have to do to get started is book a free call. The link is in the show notes.